The folks over at Unbox Therapy have released a new phone case called the Later Case. It's unlike anything that's been... Well, let's, let's talk about that. Last night, I was looking around Twitter before powering down for the evening when I saw a tweet from James Zeng, the CEO of Pitaka, a case company that's been making carbon fiber aramid cases for quite a while now. Pitaka was actually one of the first companies that sent a product to me for review, so I've always kind of kept an eye on what they're doing. The tweet that he put up reference to tweet from Unbox Therapy regarding a case that they had just released that looked pretty much exactly like a Pataka case. And the claim was, I guess, that it was a design all their own. And I discovered that fellow YouTubers Travis MCP, Greg's Gadgets, and Front Page Tech had also noticed the similarities. Travis and Front Page Tech released videos this morning that go deeper into what's going on, and I highly recommend checking out those videos for the details they provide. They will be linked in the description. Stuff like this happens all the time. As you'll see from watching Front Page Tech's video, Alibaba is a site where you can go and buy all kinds of non-branded products and brand them as your own and, you know, full case designs of all different kinds. A quick search on their site shows that you can buy thousands of carbon fiber iPhone cases for cheap that look just like these in personalized packages if you, if you order enough. So at this point you're thinking, okay, Unbox Therapy went to Alibaba. They bought these cases. They branded them as their own, lifting the design and claiming it as their own. I, I mean, it's kind of shady, but not terrible. And therefore, we might I might be able to chalk it up to, well, that's just business uh, if that's all there was to it. You see, in Unbox Therapy's video announcing their new cases, Lou, Unbox Lou, he's, he's the face of Unbox Therapy, claimed that he had never ever found a case that he liked, and since he couldn't find one that did what he wanted, he decided to make his own, and thus the later case was born. But here's the problem. He had found that case he was looking for way back when he reviewed a Pataka case for the iPhone 7. He even used very similar language from that review in the announcement of the later case just the other day. Again, Front Page Tech goes into a whole lot more detail about that particular aspect of this. Still, it's within the realm of possibility that maybe he just forgot about Pataka. Maybe. Maybe. But, no. Internet sleuths John Prosser and Travis MCP found that on Saturday, Unbox Therapy deleted videos that had over 4 million views on the Unbox Therapy channel, according to Social Blade. Further research uh, found that those videos likely featured Pitaka products. Why am I not showing this content? Why am I not showing it to you? Because of what happened this morning. You see, not only did Unbox Therapy erase all evidence they'd ever heard of Pitaka from their channel, this morning they tried to erase that info from Pitaka's YouTube channel as well by issuing a copyright strike against Pitaka for a video that used some footage of Unbox Therapy discussing their product. This Copyright strike is the smoking gun. Unbox Therapy and their parent company, Quickscope Media, came after Pataka in an attempt to erase evidence that they had ever heard of them in issuing this copyright strike. Why does that matter, you might be asking. But if you have to ask at this point, well, I don't, I mean, honestly. When I tweeted about this last night, a bunch of folks were praising the entrepreneurial spirit of all this, and can't we just be happy for other people's success, and all this other stuff, and well, why can't we be happy for other people's success? Well, because in this case, it shows that the largest tech YouTuber on the planet just straight up decided to borrow a case design from a company he'd praised in the past and at least seemingly pass it off as his own. And before he announced this, he deleted the videos where he talked about that product on his channel. And then to add insult to injury, he levied a copyright claim on the company that he pretended he had never heard of before. <laughs> Did he think no one would notice? Did he think no one would care? I mean, I can't honestly fathom what was going through the minds of the folks over at Unbox Therapy when it came to this boondoggle. Unless I'm shown something to justify this whole thing, I can see it as nothing but predatory behavior by an entity that apparently thought no one would notice if they co-opted a design from another company and claimed that design as their own. 
It would be one thing if Lou just released the case and said, hey, look at this awesome case design, but he didn't do that. He basically claimed that all cases sucked, and so he made his own. It just happens to look exactly like a case that he had already reviewed glowingly a couple of years ago. Here's an email I received in March of this year that was still referencing Unbox Therapy in their marketing material as someone who had praised their product. A couple of years ago, I started a series called Can You Trust? Unbox Therapy was the second channel I featured in that series. The goal with that series was to look at how bigger tech YouTubers went about their business, how they did their work. I mean, it's fair to ask if you can trust people who have the ears of millions of folks, nearly 16 million in the case of Unbox Therapy. At the time I made that video, there were already questions about Unbox Therapy's trustworthiness after a kerfuffle over an iPhone phone giveaway that didn't go quite the way it was supposed to, and, and things were unclear as to how that all ended up. But I was willing to give the benefit of the doubt then. Everyone makes mistakes. Maybe it was growing pains. You know, you just, the things happen. I was willing to put that whole thing in the rear view. I've been a fan of Unbox Therapy for a long time. I enjoy watching Unbox Therapy videos. I want the channel to succeed. I want the channel to be on the up and up. But the events of these past couple of days are making it very hard for me to hold on to that opinion. I hope there's an explanation for all this, and I hope Lou offers it sooner than later. At this point, nothing but a public explanation will suffice. Millions of people trust Unbox Therapy to help them make tech buying decisions. We need to know if the whole thing is trustworthy or not. So I'm calling you out, Lou. Get in front of a camera or get on a live stream and explain what's going on to us. I think we deserve that. Explain the privated videos. Explain the copyright strike you issued to Pataka. Explain that stuff so that we can understand. Please, just talk to us. So... What do you think about this? Let me know down in the comments. This is a this is an issue that you know it's it's difficult to make these kinds of videos, but I think it's really important that we have this conversation. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for being here. If this was your first time here and you want to come on back again, there are things that you can do that'll make that happen. And if you've been here before, thank you ever so much for coming back again. I really, really do appreciate it, honestly. Once again, to recap, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest, it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.